When parents learn that they are expecting, they have all sorts of hopes and expectations about their child and their future. When your child is born, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Months later, you begin to suspect that something's different about your child. Your child is going through things in a specific order or not responding to when his name is called or your child is behaving in an unusual manner. So what do you do? You seek out early intervention. Most parents would go to their doctor who would then refer them to a psychologist or an educator. Then here comes the big heartbreaker. Your child is autistic. Having a child who is different can be devastating because we know how cruel life can be for anyone different. Some parents go through a grieving stage after knowing this because their hopes and dreams are shattered and they worry about how the public is gonna treat their child. Some parents are relieved because they now know what action they need to take to help their child succeed. So one of my clients, Cassandra, has a four-year-old son named Jackson who was recently diagnosed with autism. According to Cassandra, everybody in the family has taken that well, which I'm very happy for. The one thing that Cassandra is struggling with is this. I'm back and forth wanting to tell people that my son is autistic, but also very hesitant with who I tell. I never want my son to feel like he needs to hide who he is. I want him to be proud of who he is and not be ashamed of his authentic self. I think that as a parent, you are right to be cautious about who you choose to disclose your child's autism to. Cassandra also stated, however, I do feel as if I betrayed my son after I do tell someone. The reason I feel this way is because I am disclosing my son's private medical information to strangers. I completely understand feeling like as if you are betraying your son by disclosing this. However, I do believe that some exceptions are going to have to be made. The schools need to be aware that your child does have autism. Otherwise, they won't know how to help him if he's struggling. If and when you decide to let the schools know that your child has autism, then you will need to meet with the school staff to come up with a plan to help your child succeed. And since you have an official diagnosis, they cannot legally ignore this. And they are required by law to accommodate students with diagnosis needs. If disclosing this does in fact make your son uncomfortable, try to assure him of the many great qualities he has due to autism. I often like to think of skills and weaknesses and quirks as if being balanced on a scale, similar to dieting. A well-balanced diet contains mostly healthy meals with some room for unhealthy but yummy meals. The brain, in my opinion, has to balance the scale with skills, knowledge, and weaknesses. Einstein said that everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. Mike Tyson also said, if you're good and your plan is working, somewhere in the duration of that, the outcome of that event you're involved in, you're going to get the wrath, the bad end of the stick. Let's see how you deal with it. Normally, people don't deal with it that well. Cassandra then goes on with, I don't know what my son will be like when he's older, but I fully believe that he will be capable of making decisions for himself and I feel like it should be his decision on who he discloses his diagnosis to. If anyone is interested in understanding how autism affects adulthood, please be sure to check out my video on how autism affects adulthood. One thing I would caution your son about Cassandra is if he feels pressured to mask his autism. There is also a video on my channel where I talk about masking autism, if anybody wants to check that out. The reason why people with autism feel the need to mask is because it is a social survival technique where they are trying to blend in with their social environment. Kind of similar to like how people in the army wear camouflage to blend into their environment in order to survive. Your child is trying to survive in a different way in order to avoid trauma. Trauma can be experienced in so many different ways for an autistic individual. A simple conversation can even be traumatic. But here's the thing. If he spends most of his life masking his autism, it can weaken his self-esteem and question his self-worth, which could cause anxiety and depression. Or if he's successful at masking and decides not to disclose his diagnosis to anyone, then they may not take him seriously or believe him if at any point later he does decide to tell him that he has autism. 
Cassandra also wanted to iterate, now don't get me wrong, I do not hide that my son is autistic. I have told our family and our close friends and have no problem telling people in the right circumstances for accommodations that he needs. I'm very deliberate with who I tell, but if I knew he was okay with me sharing, I would proudly tell the world that he has autism. There's many different charts that demonstrate how boundaries should be carried out to certain people. You have yourself who has full access to everything personal and private about you. Then you have strangers at the end who shouldn't be allowed access. Anyone in between should have a limited number of access. Yes, you may have strangers out in the public that are staring at your kid if he's acting out, but that doesn't mean it's any of their business. My mother also provided some valuable input as well. Sometimes it was necessary for her to explain my autism. She mentioned that one time I ran out in front of a car when I was five and the man who almost hit me was very angry. He got out of his car, stomped towards us and was yelling at my mom, insisting that she spanked me. Spanking me would not have made a difference because I didn't have impulse control. So she explained to the man that I'm autistic and that she was working with me and that she should have stayed closer to me. However, she didn't foresee me darting into the street. The man ended up calling my mom a liar and claimed that there wasn't anything wrong with me and that she was a horrible mother. Another instance was when I was taking Taekwondo. I ended up swatting my leader's butt. My leader and my mom were both shocked at me and my leader was angry with me and angry at my mom for allowing it. Again, my mom had tried to explain to my leader that I'm autistic and that it never occurred to her that I would do something like that. The teacher ended up telling my mom that that is no excuse and that she had better hold me accountable. So those are my thoughts about disclosing to someone that your child is autistic. I hope that this is helpful. If anyone is new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the latest updates from me. If anyone is also interested, I do provide one-on-one -on -one coaching or questions if anyone needs advice. Just simply head over to my website and then click on the contact page. And I'll see you all in the next video.